Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now I am going to discuss this uh, last sample problem from 3D moment and couple topic. So in this problem it is said that a force of 400 Newton is applied at E to the handle of the control lever which is attached to the fixed shaft OB. So this is a fixed shaft OB and this is that force right and which is applied at point A on this handle. So it is said that in determining the effect of the force on the shaft at a cross section such that at O we may replace the force by an equivalent force at O and couple. Describe this couple as a vector right. So what we will do is that we will replace this force by a force couple system at this point O. So first thing is that we will find the moment of this force about this point O and then we will move this force to this point O right. So if, if this is that force right, this is that force. So when we move this force along this distance D right and we will move this force in this plane right this is that d this is that moment arm and this d will be perpendicular to this force right and if we draw two lines these green lines i have drawn these green lines so this is the plane uh, constructed by this d and this force f right so if we move this force along this let me draw that force let's suppose if this is that 400 newton force right so now if I move this force along this plane on this plane right along this D line so then we will be able to reach this point right and in order to cancel the effect of this force what we will do we will apply this same amount of force in the opposite direction right so let's suppose if this is that force let me try it let me draw that force so we will draw a force in the opposite direction right and if I place it here right so both of these forces this is the F force 400 Newton and this is minus F right and if if this minus F so then this is F right so then this F and this minus F they will produce a couple and these two will cancel out each other so then we will be left with this force and this couple right so first what we will do is that we will find the moment of this 400 Newton force about this point O. So what we will do, we will draw a moment arm. So if I draw a moment arm from this O to A, so this will be that moment arm. Let me draw that moment arm. So this will be that moment arm. Let's suppose this is that R vector. So if this is the origin and this is the point A, so what will be the coordinates of point A? So this is the this this is parallel to y axis is right. So this is parallel to y axis. Is, I can write it like y dash. So now to reach this point A, we need to travel this much distance in the z axis is right. So if I write the coordinates of A, so this distance will be traveled along z and this is 75 mm. So I will write plus 75 along z. Then we will travel 200 mm along y right so i will write plus 200 and since this a point is in the y z plane right so there is no need to travel in the x direction so this coordinate will be zero right so now if we if we convert these units into meters so we will divide these two by thousand so then the coordinates of a these are in millimeters right so if we divide this so this will be 0.2 and this will be sorry this is this is not point, uh, this is not 75 if, if we want to reach this point this point a is here right so we need to count this as well right so this is 50 mm so 75 plus 50 so this is actually this z coordinate of this point a is 125 right so this is 125 so if we divide this by thousands we will get 0.125 in meters right so these are the coordinates of a in meters now if you want to write r vector so r vector we can represent this R vectors in terms of these coordinates as this is the origin, right? So we can write, so this will be 0i plus 0.2j plus 0.125k, right? So this is that R vector which is already written here, right? 
so this is our r vector and as we can see if we want to represent this force as a vector so we can write that this force vector will be and since this is the positive x direction so then this is the negative x direction so this force is in the negative x so we will write minus 400 i right so now if we take the cross product of this moment arm and this force so we will get this moment this moment is minus 50 j plus 80 k newton meter right so this is the couple produced by these two these two forces right so then what we will do we will remove this force we will remove this force as well right the both of these will cancel out each other and we will be left with this force and this force right and this will be that moment and as we can see that this moment has two components one component is the negative y and one component is in the positive z right so if we draw that components so this is that one component that is along z and the one component is in the negative y direction so this is that component right so this is the resultant m of these two components right so this is the resultant of these two components so this is mz if i write and this is mx and the magnitude of mx is minus 50 and the magnitude of mz is 80 right so this is that resulting moment and if this is the direction of moment so then this will be if we need to curl our fingers in such a way that our thumb should direct in this moment direction right so if if this is the thumb direction so then this the our finger will curl like this so this is the direction of this moment right and so this is the moment the magnitude of if you want to find the magnitude of moment so we can find the magnitude of moment as well so i will not find it but we can find it like this so moment will be equal to minus 50 whole square plus 80 whole square under the root so this will be the magnitude we can find that magnitude as well and that magnitude will be 94.3 newton meter right so this is that magnitude here in this uh, sample problem it is already written that it is also written that alternatively we see that moving the 400 newton force through a distance d right so alternatively if you do not use this cross product so we can the we can consider it like this as well right so if we draw a force vector and let's suppose if this is that plane right so if we move this vector in this plane by this distance d to this point so it will produce moment right so this force is at some distance d from this point o right so this is the distance d and this distance d is perpendicular to this force right so if we find this distance d so then what we will do we will we, we, we will be able to use this equation that f into d right so this is our formula that we use to solve 2d problems right so this m is equal to fd right so if if you want to find this d so then this the this is point a right so we, we already know the coordinates of this point a right so this is 200 200 along y right so this length from let's suppose if this is a dash so o a dash length is 200 plus 200 along y and this is 125 mm along the z right so we have we have written these coordinates directly right so these are the coordinates right so we can find this d by using pythagoras theorem so then what will be d so d will be equal to 200 square plus 125 squared under the root so this will give us the d magnitude and if we convert this magnitude into or uh, if we convert these 200 into meters so then it will be 0.2 square plus 1.25 whole square under the root so what we will get we will get 0 0.236 meters so it is written here right so this is that perpendicular distance d of this 400 newton force so now this is 400 and if we multiply this with 0.236 so this is 94.3 newton meter right and the couple vector is 
perpendicular to the plane in which the force is shifted. So this plane, if, if we consider this plane, so the resulting couple will be perpendicular to this plane, right? So if we can draw that uh, couple. So let's suppose if I draw that couple, let's suppose if this is that moment, which is drawn here, but we uh, moment, this couple is a free vector, so we can move it. But we can place this moment anywhere on this plane, right? This plane that I have drawn here. So this couple will always be perpendicular to this plane, right? So this plane. So the couple vector is perpendicular to the plane in which the force is shifted and its sense is that of the moment of the given force about O. So this, this is that sense, right? As we can see that one component of this M is in, is in the Y axis is, is in the negative Y and one component is in the Z. So this moment is in the Y, Z plane, right? It has no component in the X axis, so it is in the Y, Z plane. And if you want to find the theta, if you, want, if you want to find this theta, right? So how we will find this theta? So this theta will be equal to, if I move this component here, let's suppose if this component is somewhere, somewhere here. So now if we apply ten, 10 theta to this triangle, right? So what will be 10 theta? So tan theta will be equal to perpendicular. So this is the perpendicular and this perpendicular is mx. And this is the base. So mz, right? So this will be, if we want to find theta, so theta will be equal to tan inverse. Sorry, this, this, this is the my, right? So this is my along y. So this is my. So we can write it like this. So my, so my is 50 and this is 80. So if we apply, so this will give us 32 degrees. Alternatively, we can find this theta by using this triangle as well, right? So if this is theta, right? If this is theta and this mz is perpendicular with this y axis is, and this couple m is perpendicular with this d line, right? This perpendicular distance, right? So if the angle between these two lines is theta, so then this angle is also theta, right? So if we apply tan theta to this triangle, right? So then in that case, tan theta will be equal to perpendicular. So this will be perpendicular, so 125, and this 200 is the base, right? So theta will be equal to tan inverse, 125 divided by 200, and this will give us that same angle, which is 32 degrees, right? So here in this simple problem, they have used this, this approach, right? So both, both the approaches will give us the same angle.